Today we will start talking about slope. Slope is something that you've talked about before uh, in middle school. But today we're going to go over it real quick before we move on to our next topic. So what is slope? Slope is the change in y over the change in x. It's a ratio. Change in the y values over the change in the x values. Y'all right. know this better as the rise over run. Rise, how it goes up or down, that's how we change the y number. Run, how it goes from side to side, that's how the x number changes. It's very important that we're able to find the slope from different situations, from different types of representations. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is an equation where the slope is represented by the m value. Meaning that the B number is what is our correct. It's our Y intercept. But slope tells us how it's going to change. Every time X goes up one, the Y number is going to go by up by however many the slope is. Next we have a graph. So the graph is the rise over the run. So if we just drew a little line just to illustrate how we're going from one point, how we go up is the rise, and how we go over to get to the next point is the run. That ratio, every time we go up this many and go over that many, that represents the slope. Doesn't matter where on the line we're doing it, we're gonna get the same slope. Next we have a table or a mapping or ordered pairs. Anytime they give us a list of points, then all we have to do is put that into stat edit in our calculator. And I'm just gonna use a real simple example just to show you how that works. So we'll use, let's see, we'll use the point one one and the point five five. All right, this is from the equation y equals x. The number in front of x is 1, so our slope should be 1, and then there's no y-intercept because there's nothing there. So our y-intercept, or our b, is going to be 0. So in our calculator, we're going to turn our calculator on. We're going to hit the stat button, which is right underneath the delete. You can see in the bottom corner of the screen. From there, we have edit. So we'll push one for edit. And we're just gonna type in our points that we had. So first thing we do is press stat, then press one. Now we're going to enter Good the points. morning, Spring High School. Happy homecoming. Now we want to enter the points. So I'm going to type in my first x value. It's positive 1, so I'm going to type that right here on the first x number of my table. So 1, enter. My second x point is 5, so 5, enter. I'm going to go over and do that for my y's. And I have to do them in the same order that I did my x's. So since I did this point first, I'm going to do this y number first. So 1, enter, 5, enter. Once I have entered in all the values, and really to find a slope, you only need two points. I'm going to go back to stat. So I press stat. Then I'm going to push right over to calc where it says calc on the top over to the right and hit calc go right to calc then I'm going to select number four for linear regression which is going to put my equation in mx plus b but in the calculator they use an a instead of an m for slope same thing though 
Cell number four. It's gonna give me this list. I'm just gonna hit enter a few times till I get to calculate. And it tells me what my slope and my y-intercept are, which is exactly what we had talked about just a minute ago. The slope is one, because there's one x. The y-intercept is zero, because there's nothing added or subtracted afterwards.